present it, and some of the scenes that follow are crash tests with a variety of automobiles, including Mercedes-Benz. In fairness to non-Mercedes products, these tests were conducted at Mercedes-Benz research facilities. The identities of non-Mercedes products have been masked. Question, when does a Mercedes-Benz cease being just an elegant luxury car? Answer, when it becomes a structure for managing severe impact forces on behalf of the passengers within. But this structure will never cease to be a Mercedes-Benz. Why? Because Mercedes-Benz has always led the automotive world on the strength of one simple idea, the best or nothing. And to the logical, precise engineers at Mercedes-Benz, the best also means the safest. Passenger protection traditionally receives top priority at Mercedes-Benz. This is reflected in many generations of automotive engineering, and in the course of time, many breakthroughs in automotive safety. None has driven the design of today's Mercedes more than the development of the impact-absorbing car body. Nearly 40 years ago, our design engineers proposed that a car should be built not only to perform well on the highway, but perform well in an accident. And so, in 1951, Mercedes-Benz patented the controlled, deforming car body. It was a milestone in automotive safety that occurred more than a decade before the advent of consumer protectionism and before anyone else in the automotive industry had considered accident survivability or passive safety when designing a car. The concept was simple, precise, and logical. Minimize the force of an impact on the passenger cabin by designing the front and rear sections of the car to yield in a controlled, predetermined, and progressive manner. In the process, kinetic energy is dissipated and the impact load on passengers reduced. Today, after years of intense safety research and development, a Mercedes-Benz is a reflection of this precise logic. The heart of the car, a rigid monocoque body, welded at over 4,000 points, creating a granite solid foundation. Then, there are the front and rear crumple zones, designed to withstand impacts of over 80 kilometers an hour. Even the spare tire and the engine have been incorporated into the overall design to absorb or deflect the forces of a collision and strong windshield and door pillars, engineered not simply to support the roof, but to help brace it during a rollover. In the new SL, another safety milestone, an extremely strong roll bar. Upon sensing a critical rollover, it deploys automatically in three-tenths of a second. In fact, the new SL is structurally designed to be as strong as the Mercedes-Benz sedan. Integral to total passive safety, is the strength and rigidity of the body side panels and the overlap of the front and rear doors. Even in a severe accident, they are designed to open easily. And of course, found in every Mercedes-Benz, the precedent-setting supplemental restraint systems, automatic seatbelt tensioners and airbags, now standard on both sides in the new SL. Altogether, these safety features combined with proper, safe driving habits provide the Mercedes-Benz owner with an essential advantage, namely that maximum passenger protection can be achieved and maintained. constant development of automotive safety based on actual road situations is imperative for the automotive industry. Yet high research costs deter most manufacturers from going beyond conventional, legislated standards. 
But Mercedes-Benz, going a step further is expected, because to us, it's logical. The result, progressive safety features that far outdistance government requirements. For example, accident research has shown that front end collisions are the most common, accounting for approximately 60% of all collisions. This fact has driven government safety standards that demand automobiles be built to withstand a full front end impact at 55 kilometers an hour. And yet research also indicates that the most severe and common type of front end collision is off center, the most frequent occurring on the driver's side and impacting on only 30 to 50% of the front of the vehicle. At Mercedes-Benz, logical and preeminent safety standards have driven a structural design that must withstand an off center front end collision over an impact zone of 40% at a speed of 55 kilometers an hour and a rear end collision over an impact zone of 50 percent. Even in the extreme case of an off-center collision with a pole that has an impact zone of less than 20 percent at 50 kilometers an hour, a Mercedes-Benz can withstand the challenge safely. The identities of non-Mercedes products have been masked. In contrast, off-center crash tests with an impact zone of 40% at 55 kilometers an hour performed on cars which meet only conventional legislated standards revealed results that were critical for the occupants. There is no doubt that in the most frequent and most critical accident situation, the off-center front-end collision, Mercedes-Benz passenger cars are without question one of the safest there are. Question, why is a Mercedes-Benz the epitome of luxury? For the Mercedes-Benz owner, the answer is found daily in the real world. Well, that is our program. I hope you have enjoyed it. 1990 plans to be a historical year for Mercedes-Benz. And I wanted to take this opportunity to personally invite you to test drive the new SL or any of our 1990 model line. A Mercedes-Benz is engineered like no other car in the world. In large part because we have been building automobiles longer than any other car maker in the world. And after 103 years of automotive excellence, you should know that today, not only does the Mercedes-Benz owner drive the safest automobile in the world, but the most exciting.